All right, guys, here we are trying to separate the calves this morning, and we woke up to a nice little snowstorm. Just snowing big time. I wasn't supposed to do this until this afternoon, but ain't that the way it is? Ain't that the way it goes? So we're going to try to separate these out. Hopefully the roads will clear off for us. There's a pretty good storm in between here and there. Hopefully we make it. All right, I might move them this way and try to bring the ones back down here. Slide them down the fence. Here comes the matchbox. Open. Never mind. I meant, I meant in. <clears throat> but that's okay. Let's try bolt. Open. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Now I might bring him this way. Well, we'll bring them all the way back around. Come on, Matchbox. <laughs> okay. Get them separated out of here, and then we'll try to get them in the trailer. Come on, guys. There you go. There you go. There he is. Perfect. Awesome. All right, guys, I missed that cut, but we got them loaded. There they are, two heifers and a bull, ready to rock. And, uh... <laughs> I guess we're about ready to hit the road. Pray the roads are good and start melting off and give us a good trip, round trip. Here we go, I'll bring you along. Well, we made it back, guys. Um, I didn't film on the way down. We took out of here this morning and you guys know it was snowing. The roads were pretty gnarly heading out of town here this morning. I actually thought about turning around, to be honest with you, a couple times. Got pretty snotty, but after we got down there, it opened up a little bit. And as we got closer, it cleared up. And on the other half of the trip, the other last hour and a half, um, maybe two hours, the roads were pretty nice actually on that other half. And that was really, really nice. <laughs> but this morning was pretty hairy. But we got back just a little while ago, dropped the calves off, and uh, just thought I'd come down here real quick, check on the cows. Looks like everybody's doing okay. I guess there wasn't much of a fuss. And uh, I think only the calves moved for a short while after we took their buddies out of here, but not too long. So here's, here's the gang, huh, you guys? Oh, you're just cleaning her up, just finishing up, okay. Well, the cows did pretty good. I guess they didn't care their kids were gone. Here's Mr. Bull. Hey, Bull. What are you doing, Bull? <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go check on the calves real quick. Well, here's what's left of the calves. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, Mr. Big Steer over here. Um, looks like you guys are feeling a little lonely. Meadow's over in the corner. I'm sure she was buddies, but that's just the way it is. Pigs are over there. I'm going to leave this video right now. And uh, I'll come back tomorrow, finish up the video as we're running out of light. And you can barely see out here, guys. If you look around, we're still socked in, still getting snow. We ended up with about probably five inches. I don't know, four or five inches. Really heavy, wet snow. Snowed all day. Um, so it was a, just a kind of a compression snow. Didn't accumulate massive numbers, but just kept piling up, pushing down. It's a nice, heavy, wet snow. We'll have to clear it out in the morning. But I'll uh, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning on this video. Uh, something cool happened down there with where we dropped off the calves. They kind of got sold into a neat situation. So come back tomorrow, which is going to be almost instantly for you guys, I guess. And I'll let you know what's going on with them. It's pretty cool. So I'll see you here in a few.
Well, as you've seen, we got quite a bit more snow last night. It's about three o'clock now. I've been working since eight o'clock moving snow and the temperatures rose up to about 37. So uh, we ended up with a very sloppy mess, but where we did move snow is, is looking pretty good. However, that has left the corrals just a sloppy mess, but we had to go in there and move that snow out. Otherwise it'd have been just so much worse. So we went in there and uh, got rid of all the snow. There's Big Mama. How you doing, Big Mama? And Betsy. All the cows are looking pretty good. There's uh, Brooke. Let's see. I don't know who we got over there. Anyways, they're all looking pretty good, but we're we're living in a little bit of a mess right now. But moving that snow is probably the the best idea, as uh, it could get just ferociously sloppy but so as I said yesterday we took the calves down uh, to the guy that bought them a real nice nice guy and they got a pretty good little place there kind of a neat little program so what I was gonna let you guys know is that uh, he uh, he's big time into the low lines the American Aberdeen now of course this one here is a mini Hereford low line cross but that right there is a well, she's not three years old yet, but she's had one calf, so she's a little bit of a, a little smaller low line. But anyways, so those are the low lines, and that's kind of what they're into down there. And like I said, last year they had to sell some off to pay for a project, which we all have to do sometimes. And so they're kind of rebuilding their little herd back up. So they bought two heifers and that little bull from us. And we drove them down there. We went through quite the little snowstorm uh, right outside of town here and it got pretty hairy and I thought maybe I should turn around and kind of come back but we went for it and it started clearing up down there and down on their side was was real nice traveling was we did pretty good down there but you know they got a pretty good money mess going down where they're at too I have to say it's probably a little bit worse they got water running but I guess that's the way it is down there so we're all just kind of living in the muck and that's the way it is but so one cool thing about that place is he has a little uh, YouTube channel kind of like us he's we got a small channel he's got a little small channel and uh, kind of centered around the low line Aberdeen Angus and so that's kind of neat and they got some cool little videos some neat shorts I haven't wa got to watch too many of them I watched a few this morning before I came out to move snow and a little bit last night but they got some stuff going on guys they're just a small channel probably like we are and uh, but they got some neat animals seem like really good people and uh, you know I invite you guys to go over and check them out and if you're curious about the ones that came from here to go over there well you'll get to see them over there which is kind of cool and that's kind of neat for us too we can go visit their channel and check them out <clears throat> and see see how they're doing from time to time and uh, I know they're gonna do good uh, they, they really seem to I'd say they really like their like their low lines and uh, you know feed them good and give them all the goodies I think they're gonna be uh, maybe even more spoiled than they are here I mean we like to spoil them but and of course we have you know we're real friendly with them and I think you know they went to a good home and I'm pretty happy about it I hope they're pleased and I think over time they're gonna grow into some real nice cows for them and I look forward to seeing that in the future but so their channel's called 2T, and I'll drop a link down in the description for you guys. If you want to go check it out, go check it out. Show them some YouTube love. <clears throat> See what they got going on over there, and I'm sure they're going to have lots going on as the year goes on. They got some new irrigation in their pasture, and uh, they got the two new heifers, and I, I guess it looks like they got a new horse because they had to sell their horses off too. That's what one of the videos I seen here yesterday kind of said. But uh, so they're kind of starting fresh. They do have a, I think a pregnant cow and a, and a real nice looking four year old bull, I believe. So <clears throat> it's kind of neat guys, when you get to go, you sell some of your heifers and stuff and you just never know. But uh, I mean, they kind of hit the jackpot, I think. And they're gonna be, <laughs> I think they're gonna be pets kind of like ours are kind of pets even though we do beef them out but they they kind of are pets for us 
Well, as I'm sitting here looking in the old steer pin, the heifer pin, boy, this was a sloppy mess, guys. I mean, I came in here and I was pushing just flat out slop. It was crazy. That the melt from the snow. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to lick his back. Anyways, so it's not the best looking, but you should have seen it earlier. But uh, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, go check them out if you want. I'll drop that link down in the description. And over time, maybe you get to see see them grow if you're interested. And here's the pigs. Hey, guys. It's almost feeding time, but not quite. You guys are a muddy mess. I bet you're just in heaven today, huh? Are you in heaven? You guys in heaven? Oh, I'm sorry about my finger getting in the way there. Oh, look at these guys. Boy, look at the fat. Look at the gels on this guy. Good grief. You guys are looking good. I'll be right back. Probably about an hour and a half. We're getting real close to feeding time around here. But uh, this was probably the most prolific snow we've had this season, believe it or not. And uh, it snowed a good part of the day, too. But really wet. Around here, we got to clear off the areas that we drive and walk and stuff because when it gets really wet, it is the sloppiest mess you can imagine. And uh, your trucks get stuck, your your feet get stuck, pulls your boots off, all that. So that's kind of why we clear off such big areas right here because we like to have a little bit of, you know, dry ground to work with. But uh, after all the fuss yesterday morning about should we go, shouldn't we should we not go? Should we wait? We went ahead and went. I think it was a good idea because uh, it turned out good and uh, we got past the storm and everything cleared up. We had a good day and then last night it got worse around here so I think we made a good decision. These guys are getting kind of hungry and they got to wait about an hour and a half but look at that slop. Good grief. I'm sorry guys but it'll it'll dry out here hopefully in a couple days. So this one right here is our um, F1 Wagyu for anybody that's wondering. She looks a little different. That's because she is different. They're kind of a gangly looking cow. I got to be honest with you. I was a little surprised how they just kind of have a different look to them. And, you know, just a little bit kind of gangly looking. But, man, they do put off some really good beef. I tell you what, it is uh, it's premium. If you like fat and you like that good buttery tender fat they're the way to go but let's take a peek over here so here's big mama this was number 14's mom bolt that left right over there let's see if i can get it to focus on her so that was betsy and that was 16's mom and you can see she is a nice sized low line just a perfect little cow and they're well pregnant i mean they're they're getting within Good grief, I'd say. We could have one in a few weeks, maybe. But anyways, <clears throat> she's our oldest cow. She's had a lot of calves. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to go look. She might be past 10 years old now, I think. So she's moving into the senior citizen department. But as you can see, guys, I mean, she's, she's still a healthy-looking cow for being so old. And she's actually gone down in size a little bit. She used to carry a little bit more weight, but here the last year and a half, she's gone down size, and I think she actually looks better this way. Uh, she used to be a little bit barrel-shaped, and I think uh, as she's gotten older, I think maybe she just kind of settled down a bit on the eating, but she looks real good and just looks good. And uh, bet that's okay. Betsy took her place. She likes to eat. <laughs> she's, she's pretty fat, and that's the one I'm kind of wondering if she might have twins in there. I'm not sure. I get a little anxious when we get twins around here because some we had one that you know rolled over and killed one one year and it makes me nervous but uh we'll do whatever we got to do and if she has twins she's she's an excellent mom and she'll take care of both of them i'm sure <clears throat> but doing pretty good this one right here is a heifer first time heifer and she's looking to have her first calf this season and uh <laughs> she's carrying her belly a little big there but she is a, a bigger one aren't you brooke you're a good cow brooke now you hear that little tater our little bull he just is the biggest baby it's unbelievable 
<laughs> he sits there and cries a little bit. But we're having a good time, guys, and I don't think they're missing their kids. They haven't said nothing about it, at least not to me. <laughs> but anyways, well, we tried our best to clean it up, guys. It's been a whirlwind of a two-day situation here with hauling the cows or the heifers out and then having the snowstorm. And we weren't prepared for it because it's just been that kind of a year. We've been in kind of a drought, but you get what you asked for. As I look out across the valley there today, we got some really good snow up on the mountains over there. And uh, I was uh, telling my wife, I said, I guess I got what I asked for because I was out here, you know, just praying and asking God for a little bit more snow up in the mountains. And boy, we got it. We must, you know, we might have got a couple feet up on the mountains there based on what we got down here. So it's a pretty good little go. We could use some more. Um, I ain't complaining, but this is a good little start if we can get a couple of March snows and we might be back in business. So hang in there guys, like, subscribe, follow along and see how that turns out. Cabin season's coming up pretty soon, so that's gonna be fun. If you guys wanna hang out for that, subscribe and follow along. And here in about a month, we'll be having some little calves running around out here hopefully. So. Thanks for coming along, guys. I will catch you back out here on another one. Take care. Have a good one.